Hey dudes, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, we're just doing a quick short video on common properties and characteristics of acids and bases. That's all it is, Nothing, not, not a big video, just a quick one to discuss acids and bases and kind of what they look like and what are their characteristics. When you describe something, that's what you say, what are the properties or the characteristics of them. So let's just jump right into it. I want to set the stage here by saying soap is a base. So when we describe soap, we're also going to be describing the characteristics of bases. And likewise, when we get over to acids, I'm going to ask you to describe vinegar. So kind of like think this in your mind or not. A good idea would be to press pause and to say, what are some characteristics, you know, the five senses of soap? Here's what I got, guys. Soap tastes bitter, and that's what bases have. The bases will have a bitter taste to them. All bases have that in common, actually. They actually don't react with anything metallic. Like, seriously, picture this. Like, you have soap, and you put it under the handles of your sink. It just kind of makes it slippery. It doesn't react with the sink at all. So you can see that the slippery feel is one of those characteristics that you would describe a base. All bases have that slippery feel. Maybe you've actually uh, touched some diluted bleach. Not real bleach, that's bad. But diluted bleach, you might find that slippery too. Sometimes you use that to clean things. One of the things bases do is that they turn indicator paper blue. It's a way for us to actually identify something as an acid or a base, we use something called indicator paper. And bases will base blue. Bases will turn indicator paper blue. And the one thing I'll say, uh, when we look at the Arrhenius definition of acids and bases, Arrhenius was one of the early dudes who studied acids and bases. He defined an, uh, a base as something that ends in an OH, something that would generate hydroxide. So OH is a hydroxide. It actually has a one minus charge on it. So anything that has an OH ending, would be a base. So the wrap of bases, bases are bitter. They do not react with metals. They kind of feel slippery and they leave your hands feeling slippery. They turn indicator paper blue. And the Arrhenius definition of bases are they have an OH ending. Now, as we jump over to the acid side, once again, think of vinegar. Press pause. Come up with your own ideas of how you describe vinegar. How would that taste? What do you think a taste would taste like? I definitely would just say that vinegar has a sour taste. And in different parts of the world, we would describe that as a tart taste. You know, think of vitamin C. A vitamin C tablet actually is sour. So things that are sour, I want you to recognize them now as acids. Boom. Acids and even vinegar, to a certain extent, would react with metals. Okay, acids are going to corrode metals, so to speak. So they, they react with metals and they actually produce a gas in the process. You know, when I think about vinegar, vinegar actually feels watery. It's not like slippery, it feels more like water. And if I was touching the vinegar with my eyes closed and I was touching water with my eyes closed, I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. While bases turn indicator paper blue, acids turn indicator paper red. And the Arrhenius definition of an acid has got to have an H plus in there. Because an Arrhenius definition of an acid is a substance that will produce H plus ions in a solution. So when you look at this, guys, properties and characteristics of acid and the bases are kind of cool. Because once you kind of know them, you can start identifying other substances that you come in contact with as potentially an acid or potentially a base. And when I think of things like soda, you know, does it have a, a bitter taste? Does it feel slippery? No, it kind of is more on that sour side. And it kind of feels watery. You know, and so we're looking at this from that perspective, you know, how about milk? Where does milk lie? Well, milk's a little bit on the probably more base side of neutral, but I might call it a weak base, but it doesn't have a bitter taste yet. The funny thing is, though, the stronger you get as an acid, the more you see all these 
common characteristics. And the more you get as a strong base like Bleach, the more you get to those characteristics. So this is just a short lesson, guys, to make you aware that acids can be identified by these properties, and bases also can be identified by these properties too. Anyway, dudes, that's all for tonight. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a good night. Peace.